uh, YouTube, Edward Dendel here, and beautiful turkey, Tendo. You know this, her name. My sweet little girl, turkey here. She got so got that stick. Got that stick. Got that stick down. Sorry, mama's not gonna hit you. Oh, I'm trying to show you how calm she is, but she don't like a stick. Well, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Why, do you, why would you pull a stick on me while I'm doing this? Because I was about to get horned oh. by a goat. She got hurt. She got hurt back here on her leg. It's okay, it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Can you see her in front? Mm -hmm. Is it coming clearly? Hey, Daddy's got you. This is my favorite turkey right here. She's my baby girl. She's my baby girl. Oh, Don't want nothing to happen to her, but she got hurt on her leg. And she walks with a slight limp. So I wanted to update you guys on that. Now that she's all... Are you aiming, aiming over here or aiming at her? I'm aiming at you. Look how pretty her head is. A lot of people say turkey heads are ugly, but I love her. Most of the time, when she don't have a stick pulled on her, she lets me kiss her and hug her and love her. She's just a wonderful bird. We're gonna put her down here and watch how she's got it's like a slight little limp. I don't know exactly what. She's going, are you aiming? Are you filming? Yes, I'm filming. Watch her walk away. Here, baby. Here, baby, you want some of this? We're gonna transfer our chickens. You want some of this, children? Here, baby. Here, baby. The jelly bean gonna get him on it. So, uh, I guess Jelly Bean's gonna get in on it. We are going to transfer our chickens. Give you guys an update on the chickens. Here's a chicken tractor. How this is going. You yeah, in here? We got the mortar and stuff set up over there. This chicken tractor, give me that. This chicken tractor, how this works. There's egg baskets here. There's a hole down here. Where they can go under and climb up. There's wasp up there that I just seen. About to bust me in the top of my head. I don't like that. Um, so we got this thing all cleaned out, washed. And we're going to put these lovely chickens. They've got their water spilled all over and a mess in here. So we're gonna start transferring them little by little into the tractor. Maybe Sarah will stay over there and watch for me. Jelly Bean, what are you doing That's right here? I thought I had a stick. As we put more, don't throw them in the hole, don't throw them in the hole. Just As we put more and more, these are all hens, by the way. Now get used to it, look what's going on over here. Look at this, You're getting love at all angles. <laughs> Good life on the farm, it's kind of laid back. Ain't much as old country boy. We can't hack. Or let it rise. In my case, never in the thing. Think of myself, I'm a country boy. Keep them in there. You're gonna pinch the legs off. Don't do that. There's a certain way that things gotta be done. Open, my hen gets better. I was even thinking about putting her in here with them. She should be mothering to them since these are all hens. And we have an Easter egg or rooster for them as well. Get of them, fill it up. We'll put it in here for them. They have an extra thing. I'll do food. There's my hen over there. The other turkeys. You got too many, too many cocks and only one hen in the house. Nancy, here. Got this little thing. I like this kind of food. Give them something to eat. Soon they'll find out that they can go down and put this up here so they have it. But they can find out that they can go down. And there, I've got this for daylight and daylight on either side so they don't find themselves in complete darkness, which is no good. 
just like recycling my stuff. So, old spider container for a feed bowl. I take this stuff like this and uh, dump it on a brain tree. Nothing wrong with that. It's uh, good mulching and uh, stuff. Then, so they have extra food. Sarah's getting them water. They have extra food. Give them another little thing of food over here. Talk to them and spend lots of time with them. Hey, baby. So you see they got their tail feathers now. It might not quite be safe enough to put them out here yet because of the weather, but um, y'all want chickens the best way to keep them very calm and lovable is uh, to handle them a lot. Let them see lots of hands when they're growing up. And uh, they will absolutely do good. So these chickens, they were 60 bucks, $3 a piece. Some of them will fall down in there already. Three dollars a piece because they were already sexed females, and uh, unlike a straight run where you don't have to get roosters or hens, I wanted to be sure of what I'm getting. So um, every day there will be at least 20 eggs once these hit six months old, maybe before, and possibly more than six eggs. I mean 20 eggs, depending on certain things so I got their water like that so I can get to that water oh boy you know what I might just put it up here so I can get to it and right there yeah this things they're familiar with from their um, chick hood I guess this is a familiar sight that's a familiar site. This bowl is a familiar site. I'm going to put them in here so they can... Uh, I put them here because that way they can go down and then they can go back up at night. And then they can huddle around with each other with the hay and hopefully everything will go fine. See how some of them are falling down in there? And the wasps are being very patient with me. I don't like getting that close to them. They're being very patient, so... That is... That. Get it locks on here. Are not working. Okay, that one works. I have an issue with this one for some reason. This one's hammered up or something. I don't know. There it goes. So there's that. This. We have this side over here. And I had an automatic water system on here with nipples. If you all seen my old video when I built this, something had went wrong and it busted off of the bucket down here. I already got that. But something busted off of it. Looks I'm going like to refix that. I'm going to refix that and uh, have a new water system going here. So it's automated water, automated food. You cannot beat automated. Can you, Jelly Bean? It's not, see? You cannot beat automated. Can you carry some stuff with you? And I got a piece of tin here just to protect um, them a little bit further. We carry our bin back over here. Where'd my female reach? My female reach. Female check the turkey go. I set this up over here. Since the weather's been a little bit bad, we've. Uh, all these pins and stuff in here. Got a rat, so let's check our rats. Oh yeah, I can hear some rats in there. Here they got some. It's part of everyday life. We got this covered enough. They got plenty of ventilation, but it is cold. We don't want to lose none of them. Hey babies. Hey babies. Oh. Rats and chicken and jelly beans. Always right there in my standby. Stand by me goat. He was a good stand by me goat. Yes, he was. I was oh, here's the chicken. Uh, here's the rooster for those hens, which I'll be using because he's a he's an Easter egger. Hey, buddy. He's an Easter egger rooster, and uh, that'll be an awesome thing. Quit chasing my turkey down. Hey, jelly bean. 
Well, he's gonna make my turkeys mean, I guess. Well, I was gonna use something to cover that up with, but I guess I'll do it after a while. I'm about ready to do some more honey from bees. I don't have this ended on here yet, which I'm going to do soon. This is where you get in here at, though. Water and stuff. They, the idea of this tractor is the chicken tractor, as they're called. I watched several YouTube videos on how to build them, and then I come up with my own design. And I need a bigger wheel for it over here. I have wheels on here. Right now, I put my lawnmower up against it right here, and I push it each day a little bit. As, after they get bigger, they'll eat all the grass out of, of there, and they'll till the soil. Then you can push this up 12 foot by 4 foot at a time and plant two rows of garden. And you can do it again and again and again. Repeat that process. So you got aerated soil from chicken scratching. You have um, chicken manure for fertilizer, which is high in nitrogen. And then you have um, you have the ground cleared with no weeds and stuff. See how they're already starting to work? They, it, these things are just natural like that. There's one right there on the roost. See how we got the roost and the ladder to get up? We're gonna watch these little guys for a minute. Because there's nothing wrong with watching these little guys for a minute. I got a tarantula feeding video coming up after this one, so. I'm trying to do two videos today so I can upload one tonight and one in the morning, hopefully. These are absolutely beautiful. And we love them. And they're gonna be protected this time from everything, from wild cats, domestic cats, feral cats, hawks, owls, and uh, we'll still update you guys periodically. I should have put an update in between here on the time of them growing. The hardest part is to get them by what we did. Uh, when you have 20 chickens in a little container like this, they will soil it up really quickly with, uh, with, uh, their water mostly because they want to spill it. Here's another hen. She'll be added to the mix along with that hen and that rooster because those two hens belong to him anyway. Well, they belong to him actually, but he's not the bloodline I want. So that rooster and those two hens and then these 20 hens are going to make it. So we have one Easter egg or uh, hen. Have one, one, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do the gray one and him. That's two Easter eggers. And then we'll add it to this mix which is going to completely turn everything into Easter egg. -er. You got to look at it like uh, these two chickens are Muslim and these chickens, 20, are the rest of the world and they're going to come put their seed in here and take over the entire world uh, basically through uh, love making instead of war and guns and bombs and all that kind of stuff. It's actually happening now. Irreversible. Pretty interesting. I just sent a video on that the other day. Proven statistics, which is uh, unbelievable, really. So we got our two Muslim chickens, and then here you got Christians and Buddhas and all that kind of stuff, and they're all going to conform to Easter egg or something. <laughs> Only on Edward Tundle YouTube, people. I keep it real. Peace, love, and happiness, and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, share my videos, watch my older videos while you wait for new videos, because my videos are off the goddamn chain. Look at this. Dirty pond. All kinds of fish uh, emulsion in here. There's five years of fish. We drain it periodically. Got different types of grasses and stuff trying to change things. Bees working though. And then I got this new hybrid uh, cabbage. I'll also be periodically doing updates with you guys. On, if I can pick it up. You can see how this is working. It's got roots coming down you can see the roots and those will go way down into the water and kick ass Edward Tindall, Sarah Tindall and so much beautiful Tindall stuff out of here oh yeah and my potatoes my potatoes growing isn't that cool? starting to flower the hell of a potato garden it's deep 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 I don't know that's what she said